This is Motivational Radio Friends from Paris with your host, Longi Agoha. Okay, so the question is, how can somebody start branding himself? A, B, C, D. How do I start? Okay, before we come to that, um, consciously or unconsciously, everyone has a brand. Okay. So that in this particular age, at this stage, on this page of our lives, you need to then brand yourselves purposely. So on purpose, so you know to consciously know what you want to, the world to perceive you to be and the mark you want to leave on this earth. Then if you want to, the first key thing is to identify as we talked about several things, your purpose, your purpose, when you find your purpose, then you can build your career based on that. If uh, you don't uh, get your can, purpose, I, can I, can I cut in here? Is it okay. possible? Is it possible to tell a layman, someone who, who how he can, find that purpose because i believe that that is the main problem because if you're able to find the purpose then it is possible for you to to run i mean to start immediately but before you start you need to know what it is do you have any way of telling somebody say this is your purpose or if you do this or if you're used to doing this that could be your purpose do you have any little way of you know identifying that okay let's let's go with uh, the basic thing, if not, I go with an acronym to help at the at the last piece. It's what are you good at? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ask yourself, what am I good at? What can I do if I'm not being paid for it? Okay, you ask yourself these questions. Mm -hmm. What are my passions? Which so, you need to be asking. So, so, so these you, are some of the basic. There are a lot of questions, mm -hmm. but these are just basic questions. Any 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 lay person can ask yourself. What am I gifted? What are, what are my natural gifts and what are my natural talents? What can I do with ease? If you can identify your talent, you can build your brand up on it so just ask anyone what is your talent <laughs> what can you do what can you do everyone has a talent everyone is born or gifted with something so that's the bottom line find out what you can do with this what your talents are then you can you can then build your brand on that so that's the, that's okay. the very the very very first right thing. the very first thing is to really uh, it's kind of a soul searching you know you need to take a uh, mirror and uh, look at yourself and say hey this guy in front of this mirror who are you exactly? And then you begin to go back from maybe your childhood and begin to see such back and say, Hey, what, what did I used to do? And people tell me, Oh, this is, mm. you're good at this. You're very, very good at that. Why don't you do this and mm. all that? Maybe if you, I think if you start coming through that line, you could say, Okay, maybe I used to play football very well. But then if at the age of 30, and you used to play ball very, very well. Now, at the age of 30, you can't. You know, it's not very, very possible to start at the age of 30 to play football. You might have to adjust your your purpose, right? Exactly. Um, and, uh, the fact that you, you, you loved playing soccer when you were growing up does not totally mean that you should become a soccer player. Okay. For all you know, it, the excitement and the fulfillment come from something related to the sporting activity, not really even about this, but maybe something about it. So you, you always need a, a deeper set within you mm -hmm. and find out what really caused me to be fulfilled. This is just the playing the football, or seeing people on the field, or just winning a trophy. Sometimes we are misguided by some of the things maybe because of the well, I, I can also learn how to play but you find out at the core of the whole thing if everything comes down to kind of zero is it the football is it the sewing is it the is it the weaving that causes me the fulfillment or things around well you know the person could be good at maybe just even coaching footballers or helping to structure things around football but not necessarily you playing the soccer so at age 30 35 or 40 when you find it, it's too late to play the soccer not be too late or to live the life of your dreams. It could be something in soccer related. Maybe can you groom people to become soccer players? Mm -hmm. So you need to always be as it's not just one time. This podcast was brought to you by the motivational radio friends. Okay, so the question is how can somebody start branding himself? Give us the A B C D. How do I start? Okay, before we come to that, um consciously or unconsciously, everyone has a brand. Okay. So that in this particular age, at this stage, on this page of our lives, you need to then brand yourself purposely. So on purpose, so you know to consciously know what you want to, the world to perceive you to be and the mark you want to leave on this earth. Then if you want to, the first key thing is to identify, as we talked about several things, your purpose, your purpose. When you find your purpose, then you can build your career based on that. If uh, you don't uh, get can, your I, can, I, can I cut in here? Is it okay. possible? Is it possible to tell a layman, someone who didn't go to school, how he can 
find that purpose because i believe that that is the main problem because if you're able to find the purpose then it is possible for you to to run i mean to start immediately but before you start you need to know what it is do you have any way of telling somebody say this is your purpose or if you do this or if you're used to doing this that could be your purpose do you have any little way of you know identifying that okay let's let's go with uh, the basic thing, if not, I go with an acronym to help at the at the last piece. It's what are you good at? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ask yourself, what am I good at? What can I do in paid for it? Okay, you ask yourself these questions. Mm -hmm. What are my passions? Which so, you need to be asking. So, so, so these are some of the basic. There are a lot of questions, mm -hmm. but these are just basic questions. Any 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 lay person can ask yourself. So what am I gifted? What are, what are my natural gifts and what are my natural talents? What can I do with ease? If you can identify your talent, you can build your brand upon it. So just ask anyone what is your talent <laughs> what can you do what can you do everyone has a talent everyone is born or gifted with something so that's the bottom line find out what you can do with these what your talents are then you can you can then build your brand on that so that's the, that's okay. the very the very very first right thing. the very first thing is to really uh, it's kind of a soul searching you know you need to take a uh, mirror and uh, look at yourself and say hey this guy in front of this mirror who are you exactly and then you begin to go back from maybe your childhood and begin to see such back and say hey what what did i used to do and people tell me oh this is mm. you're good at this you're very very good at that why don't you do this and mm. all that maybe if you i think if you start coming through that line you could say okay maybe i used to play for if at the age of 30 and you used to play ball very, very well. Now, at the age of 30, you can't. You know, it's not very, very possible to start at the age of 30 to play football. You might have to adjust your your purpose, right? Exactly. Um, and, uh, the fact that you, you, you loved playing soccer when you were growing up does not totally mean that you should become a soccer player. Okay. For all you know, it, the excitement and the fulfillment come from something related to the sporting activity, not really even about the sport, maybe something about it. So you always need a, a deeper search within you mm -hmm. and find out what really caused me to be fulfilled. This is just the playing the football or seeing people on the field or just winning a trophy. Sometimes we are misguided by some of the things maybe because of the well, I can also learn how to play but you find out at the core of the whole thing if everything comes down to ground zero is it the football is it the sewing is it the is it the weaving that caused me the performance or things around well you know that person could be good at maybe just even coaching footballers or helping to structure things around football but not necessarily you playing the soccer so at age 30 35 or 40 when you find it it's too late to play the soccer not be too late or to live the life of your dreams. It could be something in soccer related. Maybe can you groom people to become soccer players? Mm -hmm. But you need to always be as a it's not just one time. This podcast right was brought to you this by the motivational, motivational radio friends from Paris with your host Longi Agoha. That reminds me of what uh, a quote I always I I remember that quote very often and I always say it. I said there are two important days in a man's life. The day he was born and the day he discovers why. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Well, I agree. I agree to that, that quote. I exactly really right. discover why you are here on earth. And, and that, is, that is true. Yeah, because I, I believe finding one's purpose is really the true essence of living. You find it and you begin to follow that purpose. You will survive. You would make an impact. You would affect other people's lives people i guess a lot of people spend their lives living other people's purposes and that is why they don't succeed somehow you've really hit the nail it's exactly because um, most people are living in the in the images or in in the brands false brand of others are pursued them of the path they've, they've led them to become and sometimes i say that some of the faults are from one mentors, coaches, and even parents and pastors and prophets because they assume they think this is the life I think you should live. Sometimes parents, if they are not able to achieve certain things, they want their children to become that thing. And that also led them to live a life to please people, or please their parents, or please their teachers. But I believe that their parents or teacher or mentor should always help an individual find his true purpose and guide him or her to unleash that potential within and the, then we have a fulfilled life of every person who's living. Okay, very good. So well, I think we've hammered enough on this branding thing. But I would like to know if, uh, because I always like to talk to the layman on the streets. Because people who have mm -hmm. read, who are intelligent, uh, could say maybe they can find their way you know, somehow. They might ask questions. Now, let us assume that this 
the, the layman on the street in Ghana who doesn't or who hasn't gone to school or who's sunny literate or who's selling, how do you advise that kind of person to start branding himself, for example? Key point here is this everyone has a brand consciously or non-consciously. I always make this example locally that uh, maybe I don't know even where I find myself to be. Let's use a, a common food around bread. And mm-hmm. um, if I come to your locality and ask you, I want a bread, I want breads. Can you get me a bread seller in your area? Okay. The question I ask is, when you ask for maybe a local food vendor, maybe I want, I use the term, I want to watch it. Uh, everybody easily can point to me or direct. And the person selling the food might not even have a poster or even a name, but people can direct you to such a person to buy it. Why? Because the person is providing value. Good. Maybe the food, the food is very good. People go even in that particular food. So that indirectly has created a brand for the, the, the seller. Without a name, without tagging, without name calling anything. So if you can go through your phone list now and I, I said, I need a doctor, I need a surgeon. What names in your mind quickly when those services are needed? That means that person, that has become a brand for that person. If I need a plumber, can you get me someone right away without even going to Google to search or by just dialing your phone number? So then your name pops up, begin to pop up in every community you find yourself to be. That has indirectly helped you create a brand for you. By virtue of what you can offer, the service you're creating, the value you're bringing to others. This podcast was brought to you by the Motivational Radio France with your host, Lajago and Paris.